That was wild. Really proud of you. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Ah, the Kardashians. Whether you love them, hate them, or really hate them, you cannot deny they exist. In fact, their clan has been around a lot longer than you might think but it was in the early and late 2000s decade that things really started to take off for them, including their now legendary and infamous Keeping Up With The Kardashian series that is finally ending in 2021. But given where they are now versus where they were then, a single question comes to mind. How did they pull all of this off? So allow us to show you how the Kardashians rose to fame. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, in the beginning. It must be noted that in the beginning, the Kardashians were not originally known for Kim or Khloe or stepsister Kylie or even Chris. Rather, they were originally famous because of the patriarch of the family, Robert Kardashian, who had a very close relationship with OJ Simpson and got fame for supporting him and then even more fame for realizing the truth about his friend and leaving him. And that was their fame for a long time. They had a famous father because of certain acts that he did and he had a wife, Chris, who gave him four children and they had an honest to goodness life. It wasn't the best, but it was something and they were somewhat famous, which for most would have been enough. But as we all know, when it comes to the Kardashians, enough is never enough. Number seven, the tape that gave them infamy. Fast forward to 2002. Chris is now married to Bruce Jenner, Olympic gold medalist, and they have kids that have expanded what is now known as the Kardashian-Jenner clan. And some of the original kids, including Kim K, are fully grown up and are living, well, well enough, but a single scandal was about to send them all into the stratosphere in a way that is still tied to them today. In 2002, Kim Kardashian made a sex tape with her then boyfriend Ray J. In 2007, Vivid Entertainment released the tape as Kim Kardashian Superstar. Kim initially tried to stop the release of the tape, but eventually settled for a reported $5 million. According to TMZ, the video has been watched more than 200 million times. And that right there is proof of everything that the Kardashians have going on. Because the tape caused a scandal, she got paid a lot for it getting out, allowed it to stay out, and it has since been watched 200 million times, and of course, she got more popular because of it. Just as importantly though, because she got more popular, the whole family got more popular which would lead to various things happening in their lives that would go on to again change them forever. Number six, the rise of reality TV. So they had the infamous name and the famous starting incident and what else is there, right? Well, timing is everything. And for them, the 2000s was a big decade for them and for television as it created the family reality show. Not a sitcom, but a show about real life famous and sometimes even non-famous families that had interesting lives to watch, make fun of, and be enamored with. This started not surprisingly with The Osbournes, showcasing legendary rocker and heavy metal singer Ozzy Osbourne and his family in their various situations and hijinks that would eventually make them all famous, especially Sharon Osbourne. It's success that gave rise to the Real Housewives franchise, which somehow still exists to this day, and then by 2007, the show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Now, it would have been very easy for Kris Jenner, who was basically the family's manager, to go basic and try and keep the show on the air to make money and keep the family famous. But instead, she went full tilt to ensure that no one ever forgot about them. Number five, spreading the name far and wide. Let's be honest here, some of the stars you love today only got big because their name got out there. If Leonardo DiCaprio only did small indie films that only film critics knew about, he would not be one of the most famous actors to have ever lived. The same concept went for the Kardashians. While other reality show families marketed themselves in limited ways, Kris Jenner decided to say yes to literally every deal that came across their table as long as they made money and got to put their name on the brand. 
a non-comprehensive list of the things at least one Kardashian has endorsed or co-designed between 2007 and 2010 include the following. The Idle White Teeth Whitening Pen, an at-home laser hair removal system, Skechers Shape Ups, a clothing line for BB, a clothing line for QVC, a clothing line for Sears, a sunless tanner, Carl's Jr., Courtney, Kim, and Chloe also wrote and released a book called Kardashian Confidential. Kim and Chloe both appeared on various versions of The Apprentice alongside another decade-defining reality TV star. Kim did Dancing with the Stars, released a single, a perfume, and did a surprising amount of very bad acting. This is what is known as flooding the market, because they were making sure that no matter where you went, you knew who the Kardashians were, and it worked. At one point, they were one of the most famous families in the world, and apparently had more security than anyone at the 2010 Super Bowl, much to the joy of Kris Jenner. That was when we knew our lives had changed, she told The Cut. The Hollywood Reporter wrote a cover story about how the family had earned $65 million that year. Of course, there is a dark side to this that the family is also quite familiar with. Number 4. The Scandals In Hollywood in general, the idea of a scandal is something that should fill a person or family with dread, because usually that means negative publicity, taking a hit in their value, and having to do a lot of apologizing. But for the Kardashians and Jenners, it's just something to get them even more famous. And we do mean that quite literally. Don't forget this whole thing really started with that tape of Kim and her boyfriend. Then there was the infamous 72 day marriage to Chris Humphreys. Then there was the Kardashian card scandal, the various clothing scandals that hit members like Khloe and Kylie Jenner, and on and on. And these are the kinds of things that cripple careers and yet they took it in stride, made it work in their favor, and honestly got more famous because eventually people just wanted to know what the next Kardashian-Jenner scandal would be. What's more, because of the major popularity of their TV show, they would even incorporate the scandals into the TV show to make themselves seem more sympathetic and thus earn more love from the fans. Number 3. Social Media Another thing that the Kardashian-Jenner clan used to perfection was the rise of social media, more specifically how they became some of the biggest names on the platform Instagram. They went and took it by storm back in 2011. It started with Kim, naturally, and one by one the others came into the fold and made themselves icons by doing numerous pictures of themselves, showing off various outfits, and once companies saw the power of certain celebrities on the platform, the family started getting paid to do posts, which of course made them all the more famous. Fast forward to now, and Kylie Jenner has a massive following that continues to grow as she does, bringing even more fame to the family. In this regard, they were really ahead of the curve. Social media like this wasn't a big deal in the early 2010s, but the Kardashians saw the ability to reach more people and in fact they are doing so much more than others, because they've honestly been on the service longer than anyone else. Number 2. A-List Hookups now this may sound scandalous, and in a way it is, but when you think about it, part of the reasons that the Kardashians and Jenners are so famous is because of the relationships they've had with others. Between the various members they've dated like stars Reggie Bush, Travis Scott, Tyga, Chris Humphreys, Kanye West, Lamar Odom, Bruce Jenner, and more. Each one gave them more fame, long term or short term, because they were big stars dating the many ladies of a famous family. And while Kim's relationship with Kanye has backfired in its own way, their early on relationship only made themselves richer in fame and in power. Number 1. Businesses Finally, and arguably most importantly, once they had enough money via their new popular TV deals and other endorsements, they went and started making their own brands. Clothes, makeup, modeling, and more. They did it all, and it worked. Many of their fans bought into the Kardashian-Jenner brand and wanted to be a part of it, especially when they did makeup tutorials on Instagram and got their fans to buy the same stuff they used so that they could be like them. Fast forward to now and just about each member of the clan is worth hundreds of millions or many tens of millions. With Kylie Jenner of course being a self-made billionaire, even though she's not, but hey, whatever, the point is they went from saying yes to everything to get fame to using their name to make other things famous. That is quite a turnaround. 
So what did you think? What did you think about this look at the Kardashians and how they went from just another sort of famous family and turned themselves into basically billionaires across multiple members of their family? Can you believe that some of the stuff they did in order to get famous? Which of these feats proves in your mind just how lame this family is? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.